I'm always on the lookout for new home security options, and in the past I've taken a look at several different security cameras around the house, several of them I'm still using up to this point. But one of the common complaints that I've seen out of pretty much every video I've made about home security cameras is why do I have to pay for a cloud storage solution? Why do I have to send my data out to the cloud? Why can't I store it locally? Well today we're going to take a look at a cloud security camera setup that might just take care of that situation for you. This is the Eufy Cam E. Now if you're not familiar with the Eufy brand, they're actually Actually a sub brand of Anchor. Anchor, the company that makes a lot of charging solutions and cables and, and really nice products that I've used in the past. Well, they have delved in the last couple of years into all kinds of home automation from the Amazon Assistant alternatives to the Rove Bolt that you can put in your car. I checked out recently. I know they've got a robotic vacuum cleaner and obviously home security cameras. So the setup I'm going to be taking a look at today is the Eufy Cam E with two wire free cameras. And these cameras are 1080p camera, full HD. They're IP65 weatherproof so you should be able to put them outside and not have any issues unless you live underwater because while the 65 is good it's not you know submersible so just just don't put it underwater it claims to have military grade data security so hopefully your data will be secure and some of the things I was really interested in about this it's really easy to set up it's wire free 100% it's supposed to have a year long battery life so each of these cameras are supposed to last up to one year depending on the amount that you're constantly viewing the video and the amount of alerts and and everything you're getting you might get less than a year honestly if it's more than a few months I'm gonna be pretty happy with it and there's no additional costs so the entire thing is self-contained you do use the Eufy security app to interact with it but you have a home hub that sits inside of your house you can use a micro SD card to store things and I think it even works with a NFS so you can connect it to your home network setup stream it directly to your own server so you don't even have to worry about it now on the other side of it looking down here at the bottom it does mention smart integration it works with Amazon's a word assistant I'm not gonna say the Google Assistant, and if this, then that. And it does have optional cloud storage. But anyway, I've been going on for entirely too long. Let's open this up and take a look at what comes in the box. Inside the box, you get another box. And inside of this box, more boxes. Some documentation and sticker on top. The two Eufy security cameras. Small white box with some mounting options. This one looks like a magnetic wall mount. And this one is the tripod mount, the more secure, longer lasting mount. And then the Eufy security base station. You can see on the back it has a reset button, power plug, power IQ USB plug, micro SD card slot and ethernet port and a button on top that says sync and alarm off. And on the front it looks like it has a status LED here and just says Eufy security. And then finally, another white box with power cable, flat ethernet cable, micro USB cable, presumably for charging the cameras, and a few mounting screws. Then we can take a quick look at the camera. It says Eufy Security on it. it. Has this tripod mount slash magnetic mount on the back. There's a little door here that has a micro USB port in it for charging. A sync button, kind of hard to see because it's all blended into the white here on the back, but this would be what you'd use to sync it to the home base. And it says remove the film before use, so we'll go ahead and do that. So now I have the home base plugged in. I can go into the Eufy Security app hit add device I did have to go ahead and set up an account but I did that earlier I'm gonna start with the home base so I'll click on that it says connect the home base to your routers LAN port power on home base use the original 12 volt 2 amp power adapter now it says connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi I am on the Wi-Fi that the home base is connected to wait one minute until it goes from red to white I've already done that as you can see here follow the instructions in Eufy security app to set up the system uh, press the sync alarm button for two seconds until you hear home base is ready for setup. Let me go do that. Home base is ready for setup. And it is ready for setup now, so I'll hit next. It says discovering home base. It's already found the serial number. Was added successfully. And I, you might be able to hear that. It said home base was added successfully. Give your home base a name. Firmware needs to be updated. And about 15 minutes later, I had a problem with the firmware update and I had to remove the home base and re add it, but it was very simple. So now it says added successfully, add more devices. Now I can pick the Eufy cam. It says press the sync button for two seconds until you hear a beep. So I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold. And it beeped. It took a little longer than two seconds, but it has a flashing white light now. And actually the home base just said ready to add device. It says discovering camera. Device was added successfully. Device was added successfully, if you couldn't hear that. Now it's asking me where I want to put it. I'm going to call this one driveway and confirm. 
edit successfully. Now you do have three different working modes, optimal battery life, video clip link is up to 20 seconds, optimal surveillance up to 60 seconds, and customize recording so you can sort of customize it to your own needs. I'm actually gonna say optimal surveillance Camera is updating, set the camera working mode if you require it later. Fully charge the battery before mounting, so fast charging or normal charging. So it looks like if I plug it into the back of the home base, it'll charge fastest, so I'll go ahead and do that. And there's actually a video showing you how to mount the camera. I'll do that on my own at a later time. Wi-Fi signal strength. It says it's updating the camera right now, so it can't really do anything, but the signal strength is great. And I can test this again when I have it outdoors, when I have it ready to mount. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time, get both of these cameras set up and in place and ready to go. You can see here it's doing a firmware update, so it's flashing between white and red. But I'll get these all mounted up, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more in a little while with some video samples. And we're back! And actually, I filmed all of that unboxing a couple of days ago. My family was in town, and my dad said, why don't we set up these security cameras while I'm here? So we did just that. The installation process. As you can see here, I filmed some of it. My dad is the one who loves going up on the ladder. I'm I'm not great with heights, so I tend to hold the ladder and provide the, the stuff to, to him that he needs. I do occasionally go up on the ladder, but I do just try to avoid it. But within like five minutes, we were able to install each camera. So within a really short amount of time, we were able to get it all set up. And so now I've actually got three of these cameras, even though the box that I've got here shows two cameras, I purchased a third camera just so I could have a little more coverage around the house. So now I've got one looking down my front driveway so I can see anyone that comes up the driveway and comes into the garage. I've got one on the backyard so that I can keep an eye on the kids and then one on the side yard so that I can keep an eye on the back stairs down into my basement and the entire side all the way down to the road. I could probably honestly go with at least one more of these cameras, maybe two more, just because there are probably more places around the outside of the house I would like to have coverage but I do have other security cameras that I can cover those areas with, so not that big a deal. But the idea of having free local storage built into this, really nice. The fact that it's a micro SD card, meaning I can swap it out for another one, or I could pull that card out and get footage off of it, or I could upgrade the size of the card, that's, that's great to me. And like I said, it has been a couple of days and I have been using it pretty heavily. There are some kind of ups and downs to it. The ups, excellent video quality, and actually it's a really, really wide angle. Yeah, 140 degree wide angle. I hadn't seen it on here until now. It does have a built in siren which you can automatically have go off anytime there's motion detected. Here's a sample of the siren just so you know. I will probably not be using that siren because that's sort of the one of the downsides I've seen. The place where my driveway camera is mounted, you might be able to see in the video here, there's grass in front of it. Grass that's hiding our outdoor air handlers for our air conditioners. And so every time the wind blows and that grass waves, I get a notification, or at least I've been getting most of the notifications. So I've got a feeling that one, I'm gonna have to either move the camera or get rid of that grass. I've been thinking about getting rid of the grass and putting a fence there anyway, so I'll probably do that instead. Hello, Jordan checking in from later. I was just editing editing the video and had a few minor updates on this. One, while I was trying to get the footage off of the device using my iPhone, I had quite a few issues, and I'll show you a sample here, but basically any footage I got out of here would get corrupted from the iPhone. I don't know if that's a problem with the app or a problem with the conversion process or maybe the codec that they use. I was able to use an Android phone and get the video off no problem. However, there's not a local web interface to be able to log into. There's a cloud-based one you can use, but that's only if you have the cloud service that you're paying for. That is $3 per camera per month or $30 per year. Additionally, I tried putting just the micro SD card from the home base into my system and it said it was unreadable. So either they use a proprietary format or just a file system type that's not compatible with the Mac and I don't readily have a Windows machine to put it into. It says on their website that it doesn't work in a desktop though, so don't expect that to work. You're gonna have to use a phone or if you have the cloud storage, you're gonna have to use the cloud storage to get the, the videos off if you want them for any other reason than just looking at them. I was able to record directly onto my iPhone from the app. There's a, an option on each of the cameras where you can just hit record and it will record straight to your phone, I think for up to five minutes. That one works just fine. Also in my experience, I found it only allows me to be logged into one device or the website at a time. So if you're logged into one phone, as soon as you log into another phone, it signs you out of the first one. And if you sign into the website, it signs you out of everything else. So going back and forth between the iPhone and the Galaxy S10, it keeps signing me out of one or the other, depending on which I'm using. So keep that in mind. You can't have it on multiple devices. Now back to Jordan from the past to finish up the video. But the video quality is good. The audio quality, you're not gonna be using it to make a YouTube video, so it's acceptable. The notifications have been hit or miss, really. I did a little bit of work inside the app. There's a beta feature built into this app so that you can set up detection zones. And once I just set 
a full camera detection zone. It's gotten better since then. Originally, it seemed to be sort of focusing toward the center, so I would, on the backyard camera, I'd have to move right in the middle of it to be detected. Now it seems to catch it all the way over at the edges. And there are settings inside the app, I think I showed earlier, where you can set the way that it detects, the amount of times it detects, so that it doesn't just keep sending the same notification over and over again when someone's walking past. So very early impressions. This is, again, like two days worth of usage. Really easy to set up. The app has been getting the job done. The connection time, it's not super, super fast, but it's about as fast as every other security camera I've ever used. Works inside and outside of the home, obviously, so I'm able to get notifications when we're out on the road somewhere. I've been very impressed with it. Again, so impressed that I was able to buy a third camera to use with it, and I convinced my parents to buy a setup as well because they need a couple of security cameras. And it was super easy to add more things into it. This two-camera setup is not the only cameras you can ever add to it. As long as the batteries hold out, I think this is definitely an excellent investment, so I'm going to give this a big thumbs up. Again, on two days worth of usage, maybe we'll come back to this in six months or a year and give it a follow-up talk. Thanks so much to Anchor for sending this out for me to take a look at. I definitely appreciate it, and my home feels a little more secure now. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up down below. I definitely appreciate it. And if you're not already and you want to get notified whenever I put out videos, hit the subscribe button down below. It should be red and it should say subscribe. And there's a bell next to it you can hit and you can tell it what kind of notifications you want. If you want every video or just some, you can get them on your laptop, your desktop, your phone, whatever else you watch videos on, your, your washer and dryer, I don't know. But again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.